Let me ask you, uh, sign me up for this thing. How, how quickly can you reformulate it and find out what you need to do for older cohorts where, you know, they're most at risk for this, or, or for kids? I know Meg had mentioned earlier that you're doing this for kids as young as 12 right now. How quickly can we sign up all of our kids for this? How quickly can you get that testing taken care of? Yeah, in this study, we are doing all the way from 12 years old to 85 years old. So we are collecting uh, data and information for all the age cohorts. We are also doing for people that they have chronic diseases, HIV, hepatitis, C, hepatitis B. So we will have a lot of data yeah, to provide for the papers. And of course, they will decide which ages they are going to recommend it. But uh, the study is very robust right now. Yeah, I, I, I hate to keep pushing this, but I've got a four-year-old, a nine-year-old, and a, a 94-year-old grandmother. How quickly can you move beyond that, you think? Are we talking six months? Are we talking nine months? I think that the older people, more than 85, I think likely regulators in cases that you're doing studies to 85, they are giving, uh, and physicians, they are treating very easily also the older people. But that's up to physicians and to FDA, of course. And uh, right now we are focusing on the 12 years old, but we will do also pediatric. I think the most vulnerable are the older people. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.